total solar eclipse is now just three short weeks away. And with hundreds of thousands of tourists expected in Arkansas, hospitals and emergency rooms are gearing up. Channel 7's Brenda Lipinski spoke with some medical administrators today, and she joins us live here in our studio tonight. Brenda. Yes, Chris, so while the eclipse may be happening in one day, one health executive tells me that hospitals in the state have prepared for at least a six day event. In just a couple of weeks, the 2024 total solar eclipse will cast its presence on the natural state. We have been working on this for over a year. Lindsay Dumas with the Arkansas Hospital Association says hospitals are always prepared for emergencies and this time is no different. They've been preparing for um, staffing, um, travel issues, um, increased individuals into their emergency departments and hospitals um, and just like any other time, they are prepared to not only take care of the Arkansans in the state, but all of the individuals that are coming into the state. Jackie Cotton with Emergency Services at CHI St. Vincent says they've stocked up on supplies. We've more than doubled what our normal supply delivery would be over the past couple of weeks in preparation for this. Also taking steps to make sure there's enough staff to care for those in need. We have overstaffed uh, just in the event that people can't get to work because of the traffic in case we don't anticipate. Um, them being able to get here on time. We are staffed. Uh, we have not had any shortages and we planned ahead so that uh, our staff is aware that schools may be closing on that day so they can plan ahead for child care and we don't have any occurrences. RDOT also helping strategize in all this. What we're trying to do is, is minimize those problems if a, an emergency occurs. Uh, we are identifying uh, quick detour routes. If we have an interstate uh, blocked or backed up and we have to use that detour route for an emergency. Sending a loud and clear message to drivers on the road. You cannot pull off onto that shoulder on the interstate or highway uh, to view the eclipse and, and certainly to stay there. Uh, that That is going to be a path, an immediate path for emergency workers, fire police, whatever, if we get into a situation uh, where the roads are blocked. All working to offer the best care possible. Their number one priority is to take care of every Arkansan and they will continue to do so even as the influx of visitors come into the state. Now Cotton with CHI St. Vincent Infirmary recommends, if at all possible, try to get all the shopping done and everything taken care of before the day of the eclipse to avoid being part of all that traffic. On your side, I'm Brenda Lipinski. And that is good advice. All right, Brenda, thanks very much. For more information on other eclipse-related events and resources, just go to our website, katv.com.